you doing? Answer me. The title character, Mommy, is portrayed by Naomi Watts. She unbeknownst to her ex-husband and twin sons Elias and Lucas underwent some cosmetic surgery. When dad drops the boys off at mom's house for visitation, they are met by a mother whose entire face is covered in bandages, showing just her eyes. She reassures them that it is nothing serious but asks them not to tell their father. She then lists some additional house rules for the duration of her recovery, including no running, no yelling, drawing the drapes, and no entering her room. Before I start, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Major spoilers ahead if you have not watched the movie yet. Although genre enthusiasts owe it to themselves to watch the original version first, Matt Sobel's American adaptation has just been released on Amazon Prime. The two young twins, Elias and Lucas, are portrayed by Cameron Crovetti and Nicholas Crovetti, respectively. The boys start to wonder if Naomi Watts, the woman posing as their mother, is truly a fraud out to get them. When the boys get to their mother's country house, she has bandages covering her wounds from a recent surgery. The procedure itself is not so unusual because their mother is a well-known actress. But when their mother's actions become more irregular, the boys start to hobbit outs. What did this mysterious woman do to their true mother, and who is she? The first indications that their mother isn't remembering things correctly come from Elias and Lucas. She prevents them from engaging in outside play in their barn, forgets the lyrics to a familiar goodnight hymn, and smashes up a painting that Elias painted for her. Instead of the blue eyes they recall, she now has green eyes. Shiri acts angrily when they confront her about her actions. The boys can't recall their mother ever being that angry. Even dancing in front of a mirror, as if still getting used to her new body, is caught by Elias. Lucas and Elias are certain that their true mother has been kidnapped and needs their assistance after spotting a trail of blood in the barn. Lucas and Elias are able to evade their mother's onslaught and make it to a neighbor's house. The children are then returned to their mother by the police, who has since removed her bandage mask. The mother persuades Elias to free her after the boys bind her to a bed. Elias understands that Lucas has been affecting his viewpoint. He knows that Lucas covered the green contact lenses in his mother's purse to keep him from finding out the truth. They cannot find Lucas in their house after Elias frees his mother. What caused him to vanish? In any case, he wasn't actually there to begin with. Elias' mother leads him to the barn and tells him that when playing with a gun with his brother, he unintentionally shot him. The blood in the barn is a remnant of Lucas' murder. Elias' guilt is manifested in Lucas. He struggled to deal with his feelings of humiliation. In reality, Lucas' evil deeds are only Elias' innermost ideas coming to life. Trauma may possibly be the cause of Elias' mother's odd behavior. She is grieving the loss of her son and finds it difficult to ever look at Elias the same way. All of her fond memories like sending her to sleep have been tainted. Because of her sadness, she has undergone a profound transformation and feels like an imposter. The fact that their father's revolver was found in the barn suggests that Elias' mother forbade him from playing there. Before Lucas died, she would never have hit Elias. At this moment, you can reflect on the movie and see that Elias, never Lucas, was the only character to interact with one of the twins. Additionally, if you watch the movie again, you'll notice that Mother usually snaps at Elias rather than Lucas and that she seems to get especially upset whenever Elias brings up Lucas. You'll notice that she never speaks to anyone other than Elias and that she only ever responds to him. The assumption is that Elias' brain created Lucas as a hallucination as a coping strategy for this severe trauma. Because Lucas is actually a portion of Elias' brain that is trying to shelter him from the trauma of having to face what he's done, it explains why the two boys would share a phone and why he is always the one who is suspicious of Mother. It also explains why Mother treated Elias with such aloofness. He created a complex fiction to account for his mother's change in demeanor rather than face the fact that she was upset with him. Elias knocks his mother over the attic in a fit of panic while sobbing. Her lamp snaps, setting the barn ablaze. Elias throws up in the field as he flees. Then, as he continues to observe the barn burn, Mother and Lucas approach Elias, both appearing to be in good health. We can infer that Elias actually killed both Lucas and his mother, and that he is currently experiencing hallucinations of both his mother and brother. His real mother was unhappy with him for killing her son, which is why she was so aloof and cruel, and this new mother is affectionate and gives Elias a hug, demonstrating she is a hallucination, and the movie ends. 